Hey guys, so I don't know if you have heard, but my Basset Hound passed away about four months ago and my Beagle passed away about a month ago. And I know that it's tricky to have two dogs around the same age because they probably will pass away around the same time. So today I just wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you guys a little bit about them because they were such vital pieces of my life. So when we got Boo Boo, she was eight weeks, and we got her from a pet store at the mall. Now, I know what you're all thinking, that I'm an awful person, that my mom's an awful person, because we got our dog from a puppy mill. But keep in mind, this was about 15 years ago, and rescues, like how they are today, weren't around as much where I come from. So we didn't see anything that wrong with getting our Basset Hound, and she was healthy and happy, and actually the only dog we ever got from a pet store. She was part of my life for a very long time. She was there when I had leukemia, she was there when I had kidney stones, she was there when my father was being incredibly abusive, she was there when when the world, I felt like, was collapsing in on me. Her vet actually said she was the only Basset Hound he ever treated that was super nice and gentle and sweet and funny. Uh, most of the Basset Hounds he came across in his training and in being a vet were a little bit more on the stubborn, aggressive side. Now, Boo Boo did share a closer relationship with my mom, but in the last couple of years that I've been sick and home often, we became extremely close and we developed a bond like we never had before. So I really miss her sweet face and I, uh, I'm trying to keep myself going and I know that she would want that for my mom and I to just keep going because it is the first time we have lived without any dogs in the house and it's definitely a massive adjustment. So now I'm going to move on to the harder part in the video for me which is talking about my little guy right there, Mr. Herbie. We rescued Herbie in 2010, in August of 2010 and when I first met him he was extremely skittish, very observant but so incredibly loving and intuitive. We learned that Herbie was rescued underneath a car in West Virginia on March 19, 2010. He was part of a beagle laboratory and pretty much what these people did was just open up the gates and all of these beagles ran free all over and uh, Herbie was one of those beagles obviously. When my mom and I were walking through the shelter, there was all these people passing by a certain cage and they were getting kind of annoyed because this dog would not get off the bed. So naturally my mom and I went over expecting to see, you know, a badly beaten dog or, or something like that. And it wasn't. It was this little beagle. Herbie was underweight. I think he was like 25 pounds. And uh, he saw my mom and I, and almost immediately he hopped off his bed and came up to the cage. And we, uh, we knew right there we were in deep. This was going to be our dog. We were going to get this little guy. Uh, <laughs> and so we did. The rescue rehabilitated him as much as they possibly could, but ultimately it was up to us to finish what they started. So when we got Herbie, we were very aware of the fact that he was scared to be outside on his own. He would always have his squeaky toy. He always felt the need to dig these massive holes and hide in them and try and use them as shelter because he was just quite frankly terrified that we would leave him out there by himself. And of course we never did and we never would, but it took a couple years to gain his trust in that respect. But regardless, he and I just clicked. We had a bond that I have never had in my life with any other dog. And he he stepped into my world at such a terrible time, at the worst time I've had uh, thus far. And I am so fortunate for his 
his love and his support and his his goofiness and his his intelligence he was incredibly smart a lot of people thought he was stupid uh, because he was so smart but he he was just amazing he was he was everything and I miss him terribly I know he's in a better place and he's with Jesus and he's with all my other dogs and and doing the best he can do and being everything he can be but uh, I miss him and there is another really cool fact about Herbie that I forgot to mention he was he, like I said he was rescued on March 19th March 19th happens to be my great grandma's birthday she was someone that rescued dogs her whole life from 1920 <laughs> until she died in 2000 I think it was 2009 she she would foster dogs and rescue dogs and place the dogs in homes and uh, that's why I know Herbie was meant for us it was like she told him to go to to my mom and I and to be there and that we would take care of him and be there for him and love him it was it was just a really crazy amazing coincidence Herbie just loved everyone and was so sweet and I I feel so so lucky to have known him and I can't wait to see him again someday the last fun thing we did with both Herbie and Boo Boo was bring them down the shore twice for three weeks and we had a blast. Boo Boo hasn't been down the shore since we had our shore house, which we closed, I believe it was 2008, might have been 2009. And uh, Herbie never went down the shore with us, so it was a real treat to see them react to the beach and the water and the smells and the sounds. And it, it was just, it was so much fun. I want to go to the grill.